Hi guys. It's been a while, I know. It's been a very long while. Hope you guys are well. Um, thank you for clicking in to watch this video. So yeah, it's been it's been too long. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I was struck down with the flu, so you know I wasn't really feeling too well, so which is why I've been making videos. Um, as you can notice, we do have a new background going on. Ever since before I started um, my channel, every time I watched um, YouTubers with um, the glittery background, I always loved it. I just think it's just anything blink I like. So, voila. So I decided to get me a glittery background. So I hope you guys like it. Um, and if it's still distracting, just let me know in, in the comment section what you think about my background. Yeah, if it's a yay or a nay. And also, while I was away, I hit 500 subscribers. Yay! So excited. So, if you're new to the Topsico family, welcome. I know that my cousin um, shouted me out on Snapchat, so I did gain some subscribers on the back of that shout out. I have had emails people asking me how I'm related to Jackie. Yes, Jackie is my first cousin. We're not distant cousins. Her dad and my mom are siblings. So they are brother and sister. They share the same dad but different moms. So Jackie's father and my mother as siblings so that's how we related so if you hear from you know hearing the shout out from Jackie welcome as you can see from the title of this video um, although I've been sick I've still been shopping online you know I've still been watching a lot of YouTube you know getting inspiration actually talking about inspiration this is like so not me this is not I'm like far from this but this year i said to myself that i'm gonna switch my you know i'm gonna try new things um i'm gonna try and you know get strong on my eyeshadow game and the cut crease has always been something that i've always been fascinated with and today voila this is my first ever cut crease in life i know it's crazy never done a cut crease before until today i know this is a bit of a bold look for someone who's never done a car crease i sort of you know jumped in in the deep end but i like the way it came out what do you guys think do you think i did well do you think you guys would like to see a tutorial if i can replicate it that is and um, just let me know in the comment section if you would like to see um a tutorial on this look and like i said i'm trying to you know up my eyeshadow game so you know we, I will be featuring a lot of um, sort of eyeshadow looks on my channel going forward, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that, so I can sort of teach you guys while I learn as well, if that makes sense. So yeah, thumbs up for learning as we go. Yeah, I bought a few things, so I decided to do my first ever um, sort of makeup haul, beauty haul. So if you would like to see the goodies that I bought, then keep watching. So I'm going to start from the basics. Um, since, you know, like I said, I'm going to be more heavily into the eyeshadow looks um, going forward. I decided to um, purchase the sort of like bases for eyeshadow. So apart from like the matte paint, but painterly or like concealers to um, prime your eyes. So I got the um, NYX Milk. Um, eyeshadow base which looks something like this so just a little pot and it's like a white base so I'm thinking that would look that would be used to prime my eyes to make you know eyeshadows sort of stand out you know make them pop more um, I know um, most people use the that one which is one I had in the past but I just find this really hard to to use I don't find it very user-friendly um, the pencil um, so I decided to get the I decided to get it in cream 
beautiful yeah so it's one of my purchases I'm always you know looking for primers you guys know that I love the Mac um, prep and prime um, as a primer and recently I also purchased last year the tart I will leave the name I haven't got it here with me but it's a tart tart primer as well the one that comes in the little pot but I'm always looking for primers you know you can never have too much primer so I've heard great things about this Too Faced primer it's called the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, it has like a, a pump thing, which is good. So I've heard great things about it. So I bought that, I haven't used it yet, but I bought it just to try it out. Yeah, so that's another thing that I bought. For eyebrows, I, I normally use either the Max Fight Pencil or the Anastasia brow wheeze but when I was watching all the um, 2016 beauty favorites for like the whole year the pencil that was featured very heavily in most people's um, sort of um, videos on YouTube was the um, Benefit Benefit precisely my brow pencil looks like that so that was featured very heavily um, and I thought, well, it must be good if everybody's raving about it. So I got me one in the color six. So again, all these products I haven't used. The only one that I've used, I'll, I'll tell you what I've used, but all the products that I'm going to mention in this video haven't been used. So I was thinking if you guys would like me to do a, a first impression sort of tutorial, sort of using all those products then let me know and I will do that for you 2017 for me is a year of um, I'd say branching out is a year of trying things because for the past I'd say three years I've sort of stuck to the same um, beauty products but I, I want to you know try things out for you guys then I need to sort of branch out I need to try new things and foundations are not, not something I normally experiment with to be honest but I've been hearing great things about this um, hourglass vanish stick foundations so I thought why not try it out however I got the wrong shade <laughs> um, I only know because I swatched it after I got it in the mail um, I got two shades. Well, I, I meant to get two shades to be honest, but I wanted to get one to as my foundation, and then the second one was supposed to be for my contour. Um, but I got the wrong shade. And the first color I got was almond, which looks like this. So you can see that's a bit too. It's too light. For my skin um, so I got almond and it turned out to be too light and I initially got um, the shade chestnut to use as a contour however it's not dark enough as a contour shade I'll just watch it right So it wasn't quite dark enough to contour with so I'm gonna just mix both of them I mix both of them in the shade you know when I mix it it comes out pretty good so like I said if you want me to film a first impressions a first impression video to show how I use all those products then let me know in the comment section so yeah so the two colors I got is almond and chestnut but I would advise going back and looking at the website now that if um, the the correct shade for me would have been walnut um, so because it was a shade after it was a shade darker than almond so I would advise for reference of an NW45 in MAC 
and I wear NW43 in the Studio Fix powder and um, for liquid foundation I use NW45 so I will advise to go for walnut because obviously it's more expensive to get two um, stick foundations because they are not cheap <laughs> I wanted to try out a new concealer as well so I heard great things about the Kat Von D Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream and that's how that looks like and the shade that I use or that I got in this is D35 Neutral so that's the shade that I got in the, in the concealer I'm excited to see how that works I mean, I'm pretty smitten with my um, uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and my um, Tarte Shape Tape. So, yeah, we'll see how this competes with that. So, yeah, I'll let you know over the weeks, you know, how I like it. Another beauty product that I picked up. I mean, I'll be surprised if you guys haven't heard about this product because they all the rave on YouTube and you know the hype was real for this product and I just couldn't help myself I love glitters and if I have to do the least amount of work to get glitter on my eyes you know if I can eliminate the glitter glue and the fallout from all the glitter then yeah so I am talking about the Sun Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. That is a mouthful. But yes, I'm sure you've seen this all over YouTube. And I was like, yes, I need this in my life. So I got four colors initially, but I've since ordered another one because I've seen swatches of that color and I want it in my life so yes I got four of them and the colors that I got are smoldering satin diamond dust smoky storm and molten midnight I won't attempt to a swatch for you guys so that is Molten Midnight. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then the next one is Smoldering Satin. That looks like. Yeah. So pretty. The next one is Diamond Dust. And finally, the fourth one is Smoky Storm. that looks like that I can't wait to play with this I haven't used them and I can't wait to create looks for you guys with them the next item that I picked up was a setting powder you guys know how much I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder yeah that's the only um, setting powder that I use for my under eye and then some little birds told me that Laura, Miss Mercier, came out with translucent powder in the color medium deep. And I was like, say what? A medium deep? Frost chocolatey melanin infused ladies and gents. And I was like, yes. So I got my hands on the medium deep shade and it looks something like that so as you can see it's darker than the normal one actually let me show you the normal one so this is the one that you know universal one that 
they first came up with. That's how that looks like. And then this is how the, the browner shade looks like. So yeah, again, I haven't used it. I just opened it just to show you guys. Um, and I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to see. I mean, from the reviews that I've watched, I can see some people say that, you know, if you need your under eyes to be sort of popping, you know, sort of showing, then it doesn't do that. It's good for like setting your whole face. I'm thinking I'll see, I'll see how it goes. If it doesn't show up too much, I can always mix it. So that's always an option. So yeah. And for the final product, the highlighter. Now you guys know that I love my highlighters. And this is the only product out of all the products that I've shown you that I've actually used because I couldn't help myself. I just had to test it out. I had to see if the high pores will or not and I'm glad to say the high pores will. I have it on my cheeks today. I don't know if you can see if that glow is disrespectful enough or not, but I love it. And <clears throat> I'm talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Nicole G. I'm not gonna try and pronounce her name because I don't want to butcher it. So, girl, you did a good job with this one. I remember watching her when I first started watching YouTube channels, and she was one that I that I watched. And she's I'm really happy for her with that collaboration with um, Anastasia. And we're talking about the glow kit. Yay! It's beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. If you like bling, this is not for the subtle um, highlighter wearers. No, this is for like if you want a glow from a long way away, you want your highlighter to be like popping as you can see. The one that I use today is the Glow Getter. I mixed it in with the 143 um yeah to achieve this glow and i love it it's pretty it's a pretty pretty palette and i feel like i'm neglecting all my other um anastasia or any of my highlighters to be honest i'm neglecting all of them now that i've got this one so yeah i love it it's very pretty i, th I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on my face right here and click on that notification button as well so you don't miss any videos from me i'll see you guys in another video very soon take care bye